this beauty at the bins for 35 cents. Sold on Mercari within one minute for $85. Oh, no, $185. Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I started a Facebook group, uh, I don't know, three or four years ago, and we are up to like 70 some thousand members. Um, thank you to everyone that's a member. If you would like to join that Facebook group, it is free. Here it is, the link is down in the description. And what I do is I post this every month. This one is share your best September Bolo, an item to be on the lookout for, an item you bought low and sold for a good profit. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, those are the requirements. I need that in your comment with the photo, and anybody is eligible to share. If you are a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel, you do get a bonus shout out in this video. So make sure you hashtag Bolo Buddies member and put your store name, eBay store name, or your YouTube channel. No links for these posts, please, and try to limit it to two shares. So the first one comes from Bolo Buddies member, um, AEG's Estate Treasures. This is her eBay store. She picked up this ceramic figurine at a local thrift store for $3 and sold it for $75 plus shipping. It took about three months to sell, and this is what it looks like. Have you guys ever sold anything like that? All right, the next one, Mackenzie Childs, found it at the Goodwill, paid $3.99 for it. Oh, she says she hasn't listed it yet, but the comps on eBay are fabulous. I am going to show you this because she did pull up a sold comp, and this is what it looks like. But typically, I prefer that you guys only post things that you have sold here, okay? I got this fantastic vase for a dollar at a local mom and pop shop. Uh, thrift store. I took a best offer of 170 with free shipping. I'm all about the quick turnaround lately. My money pile, they put death pile, I call it a money pile, is starting to take over. So I'm listing and flipping as fast as I can. Love this information I'm gathering from your YouTube and also your Facebook page. All right. Vintage 1986 Cartier. Cartier. Ugh, somebody gave me the meanest comment. They said, I've had enough. You don't even know how to say that word. And I'm like, I always mess up that word. I don't know if it's Cartier, Cartier. I think it's Cartier, maybe. I don't know. Um, La Mason de la Art Deco Porcelain Vase. If you're new to my channel, I mispronounce things and I'm sorry. So, uh, pick these up at the Goodwill for $2. Saw two individual pairs sold for $30 and $40 earlier this year. And now, nothing else listed. Decided to post high and take my chances. Listed for $95.98 and took a best offer of $82.50. Yep, if you don't list it high, if there's none listed, you I mean, you're going to undersell it. So she could have thought, hmm, I'm going to sell it for $30 or $40 because that's what it sold for before. But nope, no comps. So listed it high and sold for almost or double. Yeah, that's awesome. And it was less than 24 hours later. Buyer said within a minute of accepting her offer, if I hadn't seen a different pair of vintage underwear being a bolo in one of your videos, I never would have given them a second look. Thanks for all you do. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, new old stock vintage, just my size, satin stretch panties, plus size 11 liquid high cut. Liquid is a great keyword. All right, this post is to encourage everyone to step outside of your wheelhouse. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Flippin' Hot Finds. Um, she said, when you see something that is different, I bought this doll and one other last weekend for $5 each at our small town's Junk in the Trunk event, an event for residents to sell their items like a giant tag sale flea market. I really have no knowledge of dolls, especially Cabbage Patch Kids. Let me say, I researched for a few days and finally realized she was a rare and hard to find. I listed for an obnoxiously high amount at as a gauge. Uh, after many messages from Cabbage Patch sellers and lower offers, I decided the first $500 offer wins. She sold in less than two days to a collector. I'm very pleased. Um, 
Long story short, see a deal, take a chance. This is what it is. Jessmar Cabbage Patch Kid Girl. Found sitting on a shelf at my mother-in-law's. Took a chance with an auction and glad I did. Found one the same and sold for 15. Check the comps and surprise mine sold this high. By the way, buyer already paid, so shipping it out this morning. It is a vintage pie bluebird steam vent glazed, $46. I got this at a resale store and paid $1.50. Sold for $100. It is a squishable bee and puppy cat mini plush stuffed animal, 2014 retired. Okay, I just watched a video recently by um, YouTube channel Mom Knows Treasures. And she got a Squishable also that sold for big money. So Squishmallows are one thing. These are Squishables and they are also a Bolo in some cases. So if you see those, look them up and definitely go check out Mom Knows Treasures. This is the video I'm talking about. Got this at the Goodwill for $14.99 and sold it for $99.95. It is a Cabbage Patch Kids limited vintage edi edition a commemorating 1983 Kendall Teresa. Keep an eye out for these Wreck-It Ralph key slot cars or other cars from the movie. Got a bunch of them for $5 and have made $500 from them. I have never seen these, but I love them. I love selling toys. Um, Wreck-It Ralph. Or Wreck-It Ralph. Sorry. Found four of these pencils in a desk I bought for a dollar. Sold in three days for full price. They have been... They would have been twice the price if I had a black ring around the eraser metal binding. Four rare Eberhard fa uh, Faber black wing 602 wood clench pencils, unsharpened. This is what they look like. Sold for $199.99. If you guys want to know more about items like this that you can sell for big money, I have an arts and crafts bolo category video. Looks like this. All right. Paid $4 each at an estate sale. Both sold to the same buyer as soon as I posted them for $200 each. They are vintage 1958 Cornell University Spring Day shirt, jacket sorority. There's that one. And it looks like maybe they were identical, but two of them sold. That's awesome. Okay, I like this one. Sold this in February on Etsy. So uh, yesterday I found another one at a yard sale for $8. This will make my fifth one. Wherever I find them, I buy it. It is a home interiors vintage sage green window pane, mirror shuttle wall, hanging accent wall, mirror window. I don't know if people use these for crafting or if they um, repurpose them. I'm guessing that's what they do. This is what it looks like. Um, I... I'm assuming that maybe there's different brands and it's maybe the style, not 100% sure. Paid $2.99 at the Goodwill this past Monday, posted it on Tuesday morning and it sold a few hours later. It is a country artist for the discerning, figurine, sisterly, sisterly love. This is what it looks like. It's really small on my computer, sorry. I will crop it down for you guys so it's easier to see. I bought this on OfferUp for $125 and just sold it on eBay for $649.99. No shipping as buyer will pick up. It is a pristine Ethan Allen 18th century mahogany night table with glass top. This one comes from Bradford, who is the Ethan Allen expert in the group. I know he has helped so many of you guys, but he knows so much about Ethan Allen and he is killing it in his store with pieces just like this. This one comes from Amazing Steals and Deals. Uh, Christopher paid $10 at an estate sale for this. It's an eight by 10. Bought two of them. Same person bought both for $500. It is a vintage Jack White Wolf Gold Leaf. Oh, I don't know. This is what it looks like. <laughs> 500 bucks. And here's the other one. So they are different. A friend gave me these wigs. Never dreamed they would be a bolo. John Renau, or Renew, R-E-N-A-U, Smart Lace, 100% Human Hair Blonde, sold for $3.75. Same brand, sold for $5.50. Wow. Look for that brand, but it is actually human hair. Got this beauty at the Benz for $0.35. Cents. Sold on Mercari within one minute for $85. Oh, no. $185. What? 
Oh, it is Vintage Bratz Campfire Felicia. You almost wonder, like, would it have sold for more on an auction on eBay? I always wonder that when things on Mercari sell super quick. Or it was just the right buyer at the right time. You just never know, right? Paid $5 at a flea market. New TCG Pokemon Super Trainer Showdown 2000 Black T-shirt. Size extra large, rare. $5 at a flea market. Sold it for $799.95. Get out. I love it. I love this job. I mean, where else can you have a job like this where you go and you buy stuff super cheap and you sell it for big money? Oh, if you love your job, let me know in the comments. Say, I love my job. All right. I'm getting a little crazy here. Paid $2. Oh, wait. Sorry. Bought two identical packages at a yard sale for $2 each. Sold one for best offer of $45. It's the Vintage Scream Ghost Face String Lights Fun World 1997. Not seen that one. Um, we know the Scream Master Bolo. That one is just, everybody knows about that one. And if you don't, ooh. Okay. Three Pixel Chicks sold for $160. Wow. I don't know about this one. I love it. Bought for $1.99 each at the Goodwill. I'd never heard of them. You know what? I think, maybe not. I feel like I had one of these in a mystery box and I've got them sitting in my garage somewhere <laughs> in my money pile, one of my money piles. But this is what they look like. So definitely be on the lookout. This one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode and she is a Bolo finder and she has an amazing YouTube channel. So go sub her up. She is a Bolo Buddies member. She bought this at a yard sale for $5. It's a fantastic paisley um, is it a throw? I think, I don't know if it's material or a throw, but it had a huge stain on it. It was listed for over a year and it finally sold on Etsy for full asking price of 295. Linens are so easy to find and very often bolos. So it's a linen from the 1800s. Like how on earth do you identify something like that? Five bucks. That's awesome. Uh, she bought it at a garage sale for five bucks. So I don't know if I said garage sale. Okay, this one is mine. Actually, I'm going to show you this one in the next video. Uh, this is a four-part series this month because there were so many people that shared. Thank you all so much for sharing. Um, I just get so excited about seeing all these bolos, even the ones that are just unexpected that you're just kind of like, what? Um, like I said, where else? I mean, we are so lucky to have this job. I just love it. Leave me a comment down in the description of what was your favorite bolo um, in this video. In the next video, I'm going to start it out with one of my items. I got it at an estate sale, approximately paid a dollar, and I sold it for $149.99. So go check out that other video to see what I sold. I think, it, I think it's going to surprise you. And thank you so much for being here. Again, go over to my Facebook group. Here's this. And um, you can join down below. There's a link in the description. I actually have two of them. Um, they're both under Bolo Buddies, so, but they're both linked down below. I'm also on Instagram and where else am I? Twitter. I don't do much over there, but uh, what's that other one? Pinterest. I just got a notification that my battery is about to be done on my phone, so I need to plug in. Uh, too much information. All right, you guys, leave me an emoji, hat emoji, if you have one, down in the comments, and go join my Facebook group, and share a bolo. These are under the announcements featured section, and reminder to all of you that are YouTube members, hashtag bolo buddies member with your store or your YouTube channel, so that I don't forget to mention you in the video. Thanks, you guys, so much for being here, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.